Hey guys, so today I am going to record a couple videos. It's going to end up being probably a two or three part series on uh, tools. So recently I've been asked a lot about tools that we use, what I suggest to people they should buy first, um, what they should wait to buy. So today I'm going to kind of just record a video of all the tools that I use. Um, and you can kind of make your, the decisions for yourself on what you need more than others. I'm just going to talk about the tools, what their uses are, and you can go from there. So all the tools I'm going to talk about are tools that I use every day and I love. None of these I are tools that have been given to me just to talk about. Um, so I fully endorse all these tools and their companies. Each tool I will put above the, uh, the tool, the name of it, as well as the company so you guys can check them out. So let me know what you guys think of this once the video is over and make sure you check out all three sections. So the first tool that I would like to talk about is uh, from Pave Tool, which I will be talking about a ton of their tools. Um, pretty much all these gold ones are from them. They look like they're gold. Um, Pave Tool is a company out of Connecticut, and they are absolutely awesome people. They make awesome quality tools and are great to deal with. Um, so this is what they call the Quickie Hammer. So what this is used for is for hammering in your spikes. So for any of you who are compacting your base soils, the way you should be, you know that hammering in your spikes is absolutely miserable. Um, so what this does is you hook this up to a hammer drill, it has an SDS Max uh, spline system, and you hammer in your spikes instead of hammering them in with a, uh, you know, a little sledge or something like that. So this takes a ton of strain off of your guys. Um, it's a great investment, one of the many great tools they make. The next tool I'd like to talk about is also from Pave Tool. The uh, next few I'm going to talk about will all be from Pave Tool, but I'll make sure I keep putting the um, name above. So this is what they call their Quickie Screeder. So this system is uh, for screening out your sand or your chip stone if you're doing a permeable application. Um, so instead of being on your hands and knees with a two x four or a uh, you know a thicker level or something like that, you use this tool standing up. Um, the pole extends up so if you have to reach a further area you can, can extend it way out it goes further than that it comes with a uh, I think a three foot screed which is what's on here now a four and a half and a six so six is great for doing your you know your larger patios and uh, driveways and then for small areas this is great as well as the four and a half so this pole that comes with the screeder system is interchangeable with many of their other attachments, a couple others which I will talk about. So they have, I don't know, maybe half a dozen or so tools that will connect to this system. So you don't need to keep buying separate uh, pole systems. So here we have the uh, Quick E sand plow from Pave Tool. So this is one of their uh, tools that attaches to that screeder system, or to that, uh, you know, the pole system. So you just pull your pin out and stick the, uh, you know, your stick right in there, and this tool attaches. So what this tool is made for is for plowing your sand once your pavers are installed and you are getting ready to put your edging. So, you know, whenever you do your edging, you're troweling or, you know, just pulling it off with a shovel and it, your, your edging is never sitting at the correct height and it takes a long time to adjust. So what this does is you connect it to the handle and you pull it. So this side is running right against the edge of your pavers and what it does is it just plows the sand right off at a perfect height for you. So you have all your heights right on the side here depending on the paver height. So most of the time you're gonna be at 60 millimeters, maybe 80, maybe 70, and it will uh, screed out for a perfect um, setting bed for your edging. Next we have the Quickie Scribe from Pave Tool. So this is an awesome tool. Um, I think they originally invented this for marking your caps as you're doing a wall. Obviously your, your um, caps are going to start splitting if it's a curved wall. So what you do with this system is you basically measure off your gap and you transcribe that line onto your cap. Um, I'm not going to go into super detail about how to use it. it has tons of awesome functions. Um, you can use it for measuring out your border against a fixed edge. You can use it for drawing on your uh, wall block if you're butting up, up against boulders. And it also has preset measurements. You can see it has 22 and a half, 
45 and 90 degrees. So this is an absolutely awesome tool and it's super affordable. Um, any of these pave tool tools, you can go check out on their website obviously as well as their YouTube page and they have tons of awesome videos that will explain how to use these a lot better than I can. So uh, make sure you go check those out. So here we have the uh, wall screed system from pave tool. This is an absolutely awesome invention. Um, one of my least favorite things about hardscaping is setting base course for your retaining walls, sitting walls, you know, whatever you're, you may be doing. So what this system does is it basically makes it so you can screed out your setting bed for your walls rather than, uh, you know, setting with a dead blow. You're not getting that tennis elbow. So you spend a little bit more time setting your rails, but once you screed off your material, you're not wasting time you know, setting wall block with a dead blow, killing your arm. It is super easy and super fast. Um, this is an awesome system. Once again, I will not explain how to use it, but if you go check out Pave Tools YouTube page, they'll have an awesome description on how to use the system. But this is one of my favorite things that they make. So make sure you guys check this out. For anyone looking for some good dead blows, you need to check out Holton Tools Dead Blows. These are my absolute favorite dead blows. You can see Holton tool right there. So they're these red ones. They come in three different sizes. So they have a model four, which is your normal size dead blow, a model seven, as well as a model 14. So the model 14 is the size of a uh, sledgehammer. So the 14 is absolutely awesome for, um, you know, moving uh, granite steps or any sort of step um, instead of using a regular sledgehammer with a, uh, a wooden bat or a 2x4 to protect the surface, you can use this. Um, they're absolutely awesome. They're made super well. They last a super long time. Um, just really nice dead blows. Um, the Model 4 is great for setting your base course, um, you know, setting pavers. Uh, the Model 7 I have not used very much. And I know I am not sure if I ever really will use it too much, but some people may have a, a use for that. And if so, these are the best dead blows I think money can buy. Also from Holton Tool, we have uh, the paver adjuster. So this is an awesome tool to help you adjust your pavers once they are already set. So if you're not great about setting up string lines to keep your, your bond lines straight, um, once you're done laying, you can use this paver adjuster. It does not damage any of your pavers, and it makes it so you can easily move large areas of pavers and just correct your lines. So this is from Halton Tool. Um, I know Pave Tech also sells these, so you can check either of them out if you're interested in looking at these. So next we have our paver squares from Pave Tech. These are my absolute favorite paver squares. They come in two different sizes, so they have your larger, I guess, normal size as well as the paver square junior, um, which is great for your smaller corners. Um, everyone who is doing hardscaping should have some sort of square. You need to make sure that you're keeping things square. Um, so these are great. They come in really nice cases. They just pull out is uh, obviously straight pieces and they pull, they, you kind of just pull them out into the uh, triangles. So these are great, you can buy them as a kit, you can buy them individually. Um, I think if you buy them together, you do save a little bit of money. It's always nice to have two of them, so. So this right here, some of you may find to be a super minor thing. Um, and I completely disagree. So these are from Pave Tech. They are their, uh, I guess marking system. So this is to take the place of Sharpies or um, you know your construction pencils. They never need to be sharpened. It's basically clay bar. They write super well. <clears throat> um, like I said, never need to be sharpened. They're very inexpensive. You can just give them to your guys. They can keep one in their pocket, and uh, they'll last a super long time. So. Uh, some of you probably are thinking, you know, we never spend enough time, like, you know, sharpening, whatever, but if you think about how many times you have to sharpen your pencils or use new Sharpie markers, these are going to be a huge time and money saver. It's going to take time to obviously save that money, um, but they're awesome. I love these things, and you can buy them in uh, packages from PaveTech. So here is my absolute favor, favorite uh, level. 
levels obviously are a super important part of what we do um, obviously your your patios walls everything needs to be level or pitched and you can only figure that out using uh, levels so all of you are, I'm sure have you know your normal two foot and four foot levels but what you need to invest in is larger levels so right here this is an eight foot level I also have a six I keep a couple twos a couple fours it's always good to have good levels don't cheap out and buy the plastic ones levels are very expensive um, if you take care of them they'll last a long time um, but I just I felt the need to, to point out these larger levels these eight footers six footers they're great for when you're setting you know your base for a set of granite steps and your normal four foot level can't reach across the whole distance so you can use a six sometimes you even need to use an eight so I personally love these empire levels um, they're not cheap but I absolutely love them and I think they're great quality so make sure you guys are keeping uh, good levels for your guys so here we are inside my uh, hardscape crew trailer and I'm not gonna go talking about all the stuff in here but I want to quickly talk about hand tools so we rarely use hand tools we try to do things with equipment as much as possible but we always find ourselves obviously raking gravel or stone and I want to show you guys what we use for our steel rakes so right here we have our WW manufacturing rakes these are by far the best rakes you can buy they are it's all steel um, you can they have interchangeable heads so you can get larger heads you can get sod rakes um, they have lifetime warranties and are also great people to deal with so if you guys are in the market for some some good hand tools check them out they make all sorts of stuff rakes, shovels um, picks anything you can think of so check them out so the last tool for this part of my series I'm going to talk about is the uh, laser rod from pave tool so this is a fairly new tool I think they came out with it a year or two ago and I've just recently been introduced to it and I am I fell in love with it um, I never really understood how it worked until recently and now that I've used it I don't think I will ever use a normal laser rod ever again I'll quickly explain it but once again go check out their YouTube videos you can get a really good description on how to use this so I know a lot of you I'm sure are finding that you're doing your excavation whatever setting um, your base and you're you're shooting your first grade you know your zero point and you're finding that you're at a really weird number whether it be like you know say you're five feet two inches and two and three sixteenths inches and you have to work off of that number and it's a pain um you know then you're like oh, i have to be eight inches down from that number and you know you take out your tape measure and you measure it because you can't do the math um so this tool takes the place of that so basically what you do is you you have a zero point right in the middle i don't know if my camera is going to focus on it and then it goes the numbers go up off of that and down off of that in inch increments as well as i think uh centimeters so basically what you do is you put your laser on zero and it has an innard that drops out and so you shoot your zero until you're perfectly level and then you tighten up your um your thing right here so then what you're doing is you're working off of zero instead of working off of some weird number basically it just makes your math super easy it makes it so you can plan your your grades ahead of time so when you send a crew to a job you can tell them what each point is going to be off of zero so whether zero be um you know threshold to a door or whatever they can basically just take their rod shoot find that zero point and do all their numbers off of that and then if they have to switch between different jobs that are at different grades they can switch back and forth and just go back to their piece of paper that has all their grades on instead of having to do the math over and over each time they change the laser so this is an awesome tool guys um, it's almost $300 it so sounds like a lot but it is definitely worth the investment you will save time um, on job sites it's it's absolutely incredible so uh, make sure you guys check that out um, so that's it for this first video second video is going to be on uh, larger tools I'm going to talk about air tools clamping tools um, all different special systems um, you know uh, I'm going to talk about demo saws and all that stuff 
So make sure you guys stay tuned. And the third video is going to be on larger stuff like compaction equipment, trucks, and equipment, um, you know, excavators, skid steers, that kind of stuff. So stay tuned, guys, and let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this.